Sơn Bốt sống và đam mê. Mì ba miền gôn, bò hầm thơm lừng. Nước súp đậm đà cho món mì bò hầm ngon tuyệt. Tặng ngay một gói bên trong khi mua lớp 10 gói. Sau một đêm ngon giấc, bé sẽ đón chào ngày mới tuyệt vời. Điểm quần Pamper siêu khô thoáng với lớp màn hóa ẩm và gieo thần kỳ độc đáo giúp khóa chặt nước giữ da bé khô thoáng đến tận sáng. Chúng ta đã có mặt tại khuôn viên của trường đào khoa học xã hội nhân văn thành phố Hồ Chí Minh và ngày hôm nay thì Nguyễn Khang muốn mời quý vị chúng ta sẽ cùng gặp gỡ một vị giáo sư người Mỹ ông Michael Gormley à, hiện à, đang giảng dạy tại trường đại học khoa học xã hội nhân văn thành phố Hồ Chí Minh và điều quan trọng là không chỉ hướng dẫn cho những sinh viên của chúng ta có thể viết được những cái đơn xin việc đơn xin tuyển dụng một cách chỉnh chu và đầy kỹ năng mà quan trọng hơn hết ông còn à, hỗ trợ tư vấn cũng như là dạy kèm tiếng Anh miễn phí tại nhà cho những sinh viên có hoàn cảnh khó khăn có nhu cầu nâng cao khả năng tiếng Anh của mình Chào mừng quý vị đang cùng đến với chương trình Việt Nam trong tim tôi Và ngay bây giờ chúng ta sẽ cùng gặp gỡ vị giáo sư người Mỹ này nhé Nice to meet you here Xin yeah. chào <cười> Is this the not not the first time you come to Việt Nam, I think? No, it's my 14th trip here since 2005 In 2005 I came back here because I wanted to see what volunteer opportunities were here mm -hmm. And in 2007 I retired from my positions in the United States and I've been coming here every year uh, helping students with their English speaking skills. I go up to Quantry province and I'm at the primary, secondary and college levels and then I've been coming to this university since 2011. Yeah, great. Uh, so you come to the University of uh, Social Science and Humanities as a lecturer, invited lecturer? Yes, I started uh, in 2011 just a couple of days and I was I, I help motivate the students in regards to learning their English speaking skills. And every year I've been taking a different class, class of two, uh, 2012, 2013, year two, year three. And this year I'm with the year four students. And we actually have a new course that has to deal with resumes and job interviews. Yeah, great. Uh, resumes and the CV is very important for the student to apply for a job. So exactly what do you transfer the technology and the skill for the student to have a successful CV curriculum? Well, we try to have them understand that they have to describe themselves to the employer. And a lot of them are concerned that they do not have any job experience. So I talk about the volunteer experience that they might have. I talk about other part-time work that they might have. Yeah. And we, we share examples of students in the class so that they start thinking that even though they're just students, they have skills that they have developed and they practice in the university that can be transferred and explained to the, uh, to the employers. So uh, do you think what is the uh, successful factor for the CV? What is the successful factor? Well, the success successful factor is to, to identify your skills and to be able to explain it succinctly, very short, to the point, and understandable to the employers. Most students who are graduating, be it here in Vietnam or in the United States, they lack work experience, but they have had some other type of experience. Like I said, they might have volunteered working with children. They might have done some part-time work. They might have helped out with a family business. They, and, and they're also interning. So they need to take what those experiences are and make them into very short statements. Yeah. Uh, so experience with many years uh, that you have worked with the student in Vietnam, do you think that what is the important skill that they need to apply for their CV? Well, the, the, the most important aspect is to, especially with some of the companies that want to work with English-speaking companies, is the English-speaking skill. Yeah. And they lack the confidence. And so I try to create situations. The job interview is going to be realistic because I have another American helping me who was in industry for 30 years and he had to do a lot of hiring. So they're going to have practical experience. Besides the uh, time teaching at uh, university, uh, do the students often uh, study uh, uh, 
outside of the university with you? Uh, I've been going to some of the activities here. I try to mingle with them because they can practice their English with me, explain to me what some of the projects are going on. And so I, I do come to the activities. I uh, sometimes meet them at coffee, uh -huh. coffee houses, and just have small group chats. Uh -huh. But I don't, I don't have uh, special classes outside. I, I strictly volunteer at the university level. Or I come to activities like this, and we just meet walking around, and they tell me what the activities are and explain to that. They, uh, I've also gone to a couple of their uh, businesses uh -huh. that they work for. Uh, one of my students is an entrepreneur in uh, coffee, uh -huh. and uh, he, he explained to me about the coffee of Vietnam better than anyone has ever. But uh, you don't need them to pay the school fee for learning more experience or more learning more lessons, why? I've been coming back here for a few years and they're like part of my family, uh -huh. and, and so I don't, I wouldn't charge them. I, my whole aspect is to come here to volunteer, and so if I can help them better their lives and help their families, that makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. So that's what volunteering is all about. Yeah. Em biết thầy Mai qua em gái của em, em gái của em là học trò của thầy. À, theo lời kể của em gái em thì thầy là một người rất là có tâm huyết về giáo dục và thầy đi hoạt động rất là nhiều ở Việt Nam cũng như các tỉnh miền Trung. thì thầy đã mở một số trường để mà đào tạo. So you can find the happiness uh, in your work, and you can find happiness in your volunteer work in Vietnam. Yeah. But uh, do you often do that work when you, you worked in the U.S.? Yes, uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. I, I actually, I know this was talking about the homeless, the photographs back here. I help with the homeless veterans uh, back in the United States to try to get them to homeless veterans, military veterans that are on the streets. But I also help out the students with their resumes back in the United States. Um, I've been involved with volunteering for a number of years. Uh, I was on a committee with President Bush and the Points of Life, which promoted volunteerism. Um, I was part of the U.S. Committee for the International Year of the Volunteer in 2001. So volunteerism is part of me. The reason why you coming back to Vietnam uh, quite a year? Because I, I, I love coming back here and helping the students and working with the staff here. I go up to Quantry, like I mentioned, and I help the teachers there at the primary, secondary, and there's a two-year medical college up there. Um, I just feel appreciated, and I feel that the students want to learn. The government was trying to have foreigners come and work with the Vietnamese teachers. So I took that literally. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for sharing with us uh, your volunteer work in Vietnam. And I think the student in university is very lucky to have uh, as hard school lecturer as you. Uh, before we finish the show, uh, may you say some uh, things in Vietnamese way to the audience? Vietnam, Jung Thi To. Vietnam, Jung Thi To, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Michael, Thank you. I hope you always uh, spend time for the students with all the activities. Thank you. Thank you. Quý vị thân mến, chúng ta vừa đến với cuộc trò chuyện cùng với giáo sư Michael đến từ Mỹ và qua cuộc trò chuyện này chúng ta cũng thấy được tình cảm mà ông đã dành cho tất cả các bạn sinh viên Việt Nam như thế nào thông qua việc giảng dạy kỹ năng viết CV những đơn sinh việc đối với nhà tuyển dụng. Ở lúc số lần sau chúng ta sẽ tìm hiểu thêm về những hoạt động thiện nguyện mà ông đã và đang thực hiện tại Việt Nam. Cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình này. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại. sống và đam mê. Em sẽ chọn tìm siêu hơn. Siêu hơn. Chọn này ba giỏi nhất các cháu cổng pha bi trốn đi nhá. Hả? À? Thấy rồi nhá. Cho nhà mình thêm gắn kết với sữa đậu nành pha mi ngon sánh mịn. Nhà là nơi có pha mi.